Uh, hello, good people, wherever you are. I hope you have a wonderful, enjoyable day on our wonderful planet called Earth. Today, I want to give you something that may help you speed up your time with uh, using or connecting to a GPS. Typically, you know, when I watch many videos, I've always seen the drone pilot in the park, then they turn the drone on, then they turn the controller on, and they usually have to wait several seconds. That's what I've always seen. And you know also, when we first start with drones, when we start using drones for the first time, we always go to the park or wherever we go to, turn a drone on, turn a controller on, and you still got to wait several seconds for those GPS, not several seconds, several minutes before a sufficient amount of GPS come on. And from what I heard, you said it's adequate to have at least eight satellites before you start taking off. So you know the satellites that don't pop up on the screen suddenly, they take minutes. Now I'm up to eight now. Now I'm out the red area. As you can see, I'm up to eight satellites. I can take off. But I discovered something yesterday. It came to me. Hey, you don't, why, why you gotta wait to go to the park or wherever you do it to activate the GPS? When you're in your car, and you see, right now, I'm inside of a car. I'm not the driver in the car. My wife the driver. I'm just the, the passenger. But you see, I'm in a car. And then, most of us, we used to be thinking, I know many of us probably thinking, if I, if I activate my GPS in the car, I probably don't get no signal. I probably don't get no signal. But you know, with technology, as long as you're not in the middle of those wood, you know, like the, the, the wood that's three inches thick, your ceiling is six inches thick, but I'm just in a car where the window is about, I better say four centimeters thick. The roof is about seven centimeters thick, so it's not an actual roof roof that's going to block the GPS <coughs> signal. You see right now, I have eight satellites so the GPS signal and the current technology <coughs> helps the uh, drone connect the satellites while you're in the car. Because the window's not stupid thick, like a roof. The car ceiling is not super thick like a roof. So the GPS signal, as you can see, can make it through. Now, technically, I just can walk outside and fly my drone. I don't have to be waiting and standing around like a zombie waiting for it to go and that's my point i want to go over this can help us speed up executing flying out drones also i discovered too if i want to walk to my because i have a park near my house sometimes i may drive to the park sometimes i walk the park if i walk it's only like five roughly five minutes it may, it may be like six or seven or eight but it's less than 10 minutes from my house I can walk there with ease. I was discovering, hey, before you get to the park, since it's so close to me, I might as well just turn my drone on. I might as well turn the, 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 the drone on and, it's, and the controller on and, and walk to the park. And by the time I get to the park, I should definitely have my eight, like I have my eight satellites now. By the time I get to that park, you shall have your eight. So that's what my <coughs> topic of the day. Connecting swiftly to the satellites while I'm in, I'm in the car and while I'm walking to the park or wherever from my house. Because you know, dear people, when you get to the park or wherever you usually fly your drones, waiting three minutes in human terms is a long time. When you're just waiting, if you're just waiting three minutes, time seems to tick by very slow that three minute wait become like 15 minutes and the other thing I didn't like about it too when I'm walking in the park trying, waiting for my drone I say I'm hoping my neighbor's not thinking I'm out here doing nothing crazy looking I'm not no weirdo or nothing 
If I'm flying my drones, they know they, they see the controller in my hand, they know I'm doing something. But if I'm just waiting, standing around waiting, they think I may be a lunatic out in the park that's a lunatic or something. But by activating the drone to at least two minutes before, like if I'm on my car, that's what I did yesterday. When I was in my car, when I was two minutes from my destination, when I got to a red light, I pulled out the drone, I put out the controller, because it was right beside me, then activated them both while I was at the red light. Then, when I activated them, I just set it, the controller down in the passenger seat and continued driving to my destination. So, that's my topic for the day, people. How to help you speed up now, technically, it's the same amount of time. It's still three minutes. But it's faster. It seems faster because I'm doing something. I'm driving my car. No, number one. I'm walking to the park. Number two. I'm doing something. If I'm just standing in the park waiting for my drone to connect, I'm not doing nothing. And time moves slow. So, I hope this helped you in the future to say <laughs> human wise not theoretically because theoretically it's still that three minute time it's still the exact time but from a human point of view to speed it up in my human mind I'm going to activate it when I'm in my car when I'm at least two minutes from my park and if the park is near my house I'm going to activate it while I'm taking my jolly Mari walk to the park and then when I get to, whether I'm in my car or I'm walking, when I get to my destination, all I got to do is put my little mat down to protect my drone, put my drone down, then my drone start flying. And that's what it was like for me yesterday. Every, everything was set up. See, now I'm, I'm at 13, 14, 14. So technically, I can, according to my research, when they said you need eight satellites, technically I can fly. And... My, my, my drone is connected, but since I'm in a car, you know, I, I, I can't fly in my car. And you see, you see it right here, it said, compass requires calibration, because I'm, I'm in a car, you know, the car might be giving out those magnetic waves or whatever, messing up the compass. But I hope my little insight on how to speed the time up for you, the human, because I said technically, the three minutes is still three minutes, but human-wise, time seems to go fast because I'm already doing something. You're already doing something. You drive it. You walk it. So when you get to the park, or wherever you're going, to the park, the neighborhood, your front house, wherever you want to take your drone at, when you get there, your drone is ready to fly. Thank you for stopping by. I hope this gave you some insights to help you to get that drone up in the air, human-wise, in a quick fashion. Next time, good people. Next time, drone family, drone lovers. Peace.